Hello everyone and welcome to part 36 of this chess rating run series on chess.com. Uh, today I will be playing a 10 minute game. Uh, so let's begin and let's find an opponent here. All right, here we go. Start with E4 and see how they respond. Looks like a Sicilian. And we're playing a 1522 player. All right. Okay. Let's see how they respond. Okay, so we set up what's called the Meroxy Bind, uh, which uses these two pawns to control d5. So let's see what they do next. All right, well, <clears throat> I guess we will bring that bishop in there. Okay. Now, um, we'll develop our other bishop to keep his knight out of there. Okay, so he attacks us there. What should we do? Well, I guess... Hmm. We could attack there then move our queen up he's threatening to take that and then this will be under attack so let's go there see what he does We'll just go ahead and castle and if he wants to he can double these pawns up which would be bad but you know maybe we can fight down this open file here all right well now we can undouble one of these but which way to go here? Which way? Uh, we'll just undouble that. And I guess we have to do that. Okay. And now. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, what options do we have here? It's not looking good. We go here. Just see what he does.
Oh, I guess we're forced to capture there. So this game is not looking too good. All right. Guess we can go there. Can try and attack this knight. All right. Well. Let's see here. Well, it looks like we just ended up down a piece here. <clears throat> Let's see what this knight decides to do. All right, so we could just attack this knight. Attack this knight. Let's attack him. See what he does. And the knight has to be careful, or we could pin it to the rook over here. All right. Hmm. So, see what he does about that. Okay, so he moves up there. We could just attack him. Uh, well, we might as well just attack that knight. So, we'll go ahead and just attack him. See where he moves. Okay. Then we can push this forward. Oh no, he's threatening. Well, is he threatening to come down there? We can just push this forward up here. All right. And let's see, let's see. Well, I guess we might as well move our Move our king up. Okay. Well, we'll do that to, uh, you know, get our pawns off of these light squares. That way the bishop won't be able to harass them. Okay. 
Okay, okay. So. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. We probably should try and go after this pawn. All right, if he jumps down there, what can that do? Well, let's go there. See what he does. Go here. All right, so he checks us. Now we are forced to go back to here Now what? Okay, what did that do? It's going to threaten to come into there. Well... Tricky night could cause problems. We'll go there. All right. Well, do I attack that night? Attack the night. All right. Well, now, what can we do? What can we do? Chase this night away, I guess. Chase the night away. All right. Well, is this going to be... Well, I guess we can just take him. All right. And he resigned. All right. Well, I don't know. That was kind of a... 
a tougher game. They just made a mistake in the end. All right, we'll do a quick game review. Um, okay, so we had 92, they had 86.7. Yeah, I'm happy anytime I can get up in the 90s, but I don't know. That game felt kind of rough in the beginning, especially being behind a pawn there. And then I was able to get the uh, that exchange. All right. So let's see. Um, start the review. Okay. We did the Tamanov variation of the Sicilian defense. So that was the last book move. And then, let's see. So this was an inaccuracy. So what would have been better here? To develop my queen, maybe? Let's see. Uh, to just go ahead and castle. All right. But, you know, then I was worried about he could capture this. If I recapture, my pawns would be doubled. Then he could just capture this pawn for free. So, capture, capture, and then it shows that. Well, why wouldn't he just go ahead and capture this immediately? Just take that pawn. All right, I don't know. Another interesting computer move. Hmm. All right, let's keep going here. Okay. So that was a mistake there. It looks like best would have been to retreat up here. <clears throat> All right. Well, hmm. Why would that be best? What would it say would happen next? We could attack that. We'll see, then we could just capture a pawn. So, I don't know. Sometimes the computer has these strange moves. Okay, bishop to c5 is a great move. We pin the knight to this rook. So he attacks or captures. That's a great move. Um, so then that was best to just capture the rook. And the knight moving was not best. So should he have just captured my bishop maybe? Huh. It wants him to jump down to there. Oh, I see, because now he would have two pieces lined up on this right here. Okay. Well, then we would have to retreat the bishop away. And he would just get a pawn out of it, and then he would he would have just been ahead a pawn there. Um, well, no, I guess we have the the exchange, so we would be ahead the equivalent of one pawn after that. Um, or actually, it would be even because he's already ahead a pawn on the king side. So after this, the game would be even, but he would have this outside passed pawn here, which would Oof, would be tough. The game would revolve around stopping that. All right. But instead, uh, so a5 was an inaccuracy. So best would have been hmm, just to retreat back here. But then, I don't know. I didn't want him to move forward. Well, then I guess his pawn would be locked in on the same color square as my bishop. And that's what I was worried about, my pawn being stuck uh, on the same color as his bishop. All right, g3 was an inaccuracy. So best would be rook to c2 here. All right. 
Hmm. All right, and then the blunder, which ended the game. So. Let's see. Best would have been here attacking the rook and the pawn at the same time. Ooh, yeah, that could have been dangerous. Because now what do we do with this rook? I mean, do we double up here? Try and go after his king, but then you know the bishop is covering that. So we would have to go here. Whew. I don't know. So we would have to move this. I mean, maybe we could go here. But then he could start threatening to try and get into the position. Hmm. Well, I don't know. That's... That would have made it tricky, but luckily he made a mistake. So in the opening, we had 96.5. They had 96.1. In the middle game, we had 90.2, and they had 83.6. All right, and 2100 to 1850. So that's interesting how we both played, you know, a lot higher than our ratings, although uh, I'm still trying to climb higher here. Um, all right, let us get out of this and well, I'll end the video there. Uh, if you stuck around, I thank you. Uh, feel free to leave comments or suggestions, uh, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already. Um, but thank you everyone and have a great day.